I'm sorry to keep bothering you like this. You're not bothering me. I'm just wondering if I can really offer you anything. I mean, you're a Septentrion, and I feel like you're far more capable. That's due to my title. Nobody will tell me their honest opinion thanks to my perceived status. Huh, really? That's how people generally are. To that point, I feel like you are someone who doesn't care about titles or status, and would speak her mind. When we fought the other day, I thought your instincts were excellent. That's why I wanted to hear your opinions about the way I fight. Okay, if that's what you want, I'll be honest with you. Yes, if you would be so kind. Why do you even use a hammer as a weapon in the first place? You have a small frame, and you don't look like you have enough muscle. Wouldn't it be more effective to use something smaller and lighter that fits your physique, like a knife? I see. Thank you for your input. But I think you've overlooked a crucial fact. What do you mean? I agree that a hammer is a big and heavy weapon that doesn't seem to match my frame. But my power is teleportation. I can close the gap the instant I swing, or move on top of an enemy's head to let gravity do most of the work. In other words, I chose the hammer because it was the best weapon that takes advantage of my power. It can also intimidate opponents with its powerful image, and it even offers a good workout when I lift it. I see. Oh, sorry. I got carried away there. I shouldn't argue when I was the one who asked you to give me your honest opinion. No, I was just impressed that you found a fighting style that matches your power. But if you've established your style to this degree, there's not much point in asking for anyone's opinion. You might be right, but I feel like I'm lacking something. Are you unsatisfied with your current level of strength? I'd say this is more about eliminating my weakness than wanting to become stronger. As you already pointed out, I have a small frame. And while I work out every day, I don't have enough muscles. My current fighting style compensates for these facts, but it also relies too much on my power. I think children of the state like us all rely on our powers in a fight, more or less. That may be true, but think about what would happen if you could not use your power at all. You would have no choice but to rely on your physical strength, but I would be mostly useless the way I am. Not be able to use your power? I suppose that happening is a possibility, but that's a pretty limited situation. Well, you never know what could happen on the battlefield. You have to be prepared for anything. Really? I think it's a waste of time to worry about outliers. You have a point. I could be worrying a little too much. It could be because you don't believe in your own strength. Huh? I don't think there's any problem with the way you fight. If anything, I would say it's psychological. In other words, a lack of confidence. <laughs> How surprising. My brother said something similar to me in the past. He told me I was held captive by my own weakness. That does seem like my biggest problem. You really are perceptive. I was right to come to you. Was anything I said helpful? Yes. This has been very beneficial to me. You don't hold back when we talk. So I find myself wanting to talk about things I normally wouldn't. That helps me be more open with my feelings, so I can relax. May we talk again sometime? Sure, if you're okay with me just talking like I normally do. Of course. I'd prefer that. What you consider normal feels fresh and new to me. What? You and your brother are both so strange. It seems like he's satisfied, though, so I guess this was okay.